Well, things have taken a turn and this appears like it's gonna be the first turn of many. Admitting this on the internet, I don't know if I ever have, like it's really, really embarrassing. I just don't want people to think I'm like living this like, oh my God, like amazing life. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me. Good morning guys and welcome to my very last vlog in Cincinnati. Yeah, this is the last one before I moved to Nashville, which obviously you guys know I'm not permanently moving to Nashville. I'm just traveling the country. So Nashville's the first stop for a month. And I'm going to have like my next vlog is going to be no, I don't know. I think I'm going to be starting out in Cincinnati like the day we're moving this Friday. So in just a few days from now, and then it's going to cut to us arriving in Nashville, which is so crazy. Like it's just so weird. And it's like, I don't even get to, I feel like fully experience our apartment these last few nights because it is an absolute mess. Like the mess just keeps getting bigger and bigger and we really just don't have a, a method to our madness, but it's okay. It's kind of fun to have all of this chaos because of how like type A I normally am and everything must have a place and oh my gosh, nothing has a place nothing at all and it's kind of refreshing i've gotten a lot of messages asking why we are only traveling in the united states and actually i'm going to be making my famous chocolate oatmeal of course some things never change i'm of course going to even be making this in nashville or wherever we go i thought i'd lower the camera so you could see what i'm doing but i mean the big reason we're not traveling internationally actually there's a lot of reasons first of all we want to have a car wherever we go a rental car is so expensive so that just wasn't really part of the budget like we want to be able to drive to the gym or the grocery store and obviously there's plenty of public transit especially internationally but that's just one little factor the big one is that zach works remote and a six hour time difference is just not ideal he'd be working in the middle of the night and that's just not what we want and then the other big thing is that we are potentially scouting for a future place for us to move i mean that's kind of like where this idea was born like oh i hate when the bananas why fear not i have another one but yeah we're essentially going to places where we're like hey we could move here one day and we do want to stay in the united states long term like i can't imagine being that far away from either of our families i also think people get so wrapped up and like oh my gosh international travel and traveling to all of these cool places but I was kind of just thinking there are so many cool places in the United States that I haven't seen that I want to see. You don't need to get on a plane and travel thousands of miles to find cool things. Like they're here in the United States. You kind of just gotta find them. So then I let that sit for 20 minutes. Obviously this last week isn't the most exciting thing just because there's so much that I have to get done. Do you guys want to hear? And you probably don't, but I'm going to tell you anyway. My to-do list today, these are just like, I jotted it down this morning. First thing when I woke up, these are just the most boring things. One car insurance. I need to renew it and figure out how that all works with number two, call my rental car or car rental spot. Basically I am putting my car in storage, but I'm doing it at kind of a cheap place. It's just like a parking lot type situation. It's not covered. Is that risky? Maybe. Am I cheap? Yes. So I need to get that settled because I need to actually like pay for it. Call my movers to make sure that they're legit because I feel like they're not. Guys, it literally, I did it through text. That's so sketchy. So I need to call them and I also need to ask if they take cash or credit, if they're legit. I need to get more moving boxes and then I need to book my nails. I really am so excited to get them done. I only get them done every once in a while. While, and when I do, heck yes, I'm excited. So yeah, a lot of stupid things to do. Not stupid, but just not fun. For the makeup today, I decided to go full glam for absolutely no reason. It's just a random Monday and I have a lot of errands and chores to do, but that's the thing. Right after I quit my news job and I no longer had to do my makeup every single day at 2 a.m., I fell in love with makeup again. Like I genuinely enjoy doing my makeup. I feel like obviously I hated it because I was doing it so early, but the other big thing was I always just had to do the same thing that didn't necessarily look good in real life. I just did it for the camera. Like for example, I had to put on so much powder because you get shiny on camera. I had to put on so much bronzer and like black under my lash line. And you might be thinking like, why'd you have to do it? Like you didn't have to do anything. It just looked better on camera. So obviously I was gonna do what looked better on camera. And then as for my hair, I am super excited about this because I'm going to be using the Floral Beach Waver S1 Rotating Curling Iron. And if you're like me, you're thinking, rotating what? Allow me to explain, or rather, let me show you. Is that not the coolest thing ever? Guys, I just tried this out over the weekend. It does the work for you. Like I, you guys just saw, I did not 
move my hand like that is insane so you guys know i'm always complaining about how curling my hair is so hard this is a game changer and then once you're done you kind of just let it fall and then keep that like we're gonna obviously fix it after but you just don't want to touch it because that's gonna ruin everything are you guys ready are you guys ready are you guys ready okay and then my trick do at least for me what i like do the outside because there are two different directions oh my gosh this is insane there are two different directions you can go i like to curl away from my face and this is the easiest way to curl your hair like you don't have to you know like reach up and go like that and do you know how many times i burn my fingers with that so this is so neat and this one in particular so this is the floral collection comes in two different colors i have the color sage or the pattern sage and there are three different barrel sizes. So I have S1, which is like medium. If you want it to be even smaller than this, like the barrel is that much thinner, you can do S.75, or if you want bigger, they have S1.25, like that. Ah! It's totally adjustable with the heat. Like you can do, I think it's like, it starts at like 100 something all the way up to, I think I have it at 410. I always just crank the heat because my hair is so naturally straight. But what's really neat is this is a ceramic rod. So it's a lot easier on your hair, especially if you're like me and you put heat on your hair literally every day of my life. It's kind of a problem, but I just love the way it looks. And I should mention before I even curled my hair, I put on the Great Barrier Heat Protectant Hairspray. And what's really neat about that spray is it not only protects your hair, but it also gives your hair a little bit of texture just so that your curls last even longer. And then you drop, oh my gosh, uh, guys, this is the coolest thing ever. And once we shake it out, you're gonna see how it turns out. I'm doing nothing right now. I'm just chilling. And then I also wanted to show you how I do this side. This actually is my easier side because I just use my index finger. You always want this clamp thing to be facing out. So facing the mirror, the camera, I'm sure, I'm sure most of you guys aren't filming this. And then once again, I like my curls out, but they also do have a function. It's just this little button if you want it to be in. My favorite part is when we kind of just like go in with our hands and mess them up a little bit. And then when you like play with it and kind of like, I just flip my hair back and forth, like that is the scariest part, but I'm telling you, especially with this kind of curling iron, you gotta do it. Like that's what kind of brings it to life and gives you the volume. Gosh, the craziest part about all of this for me is how quick it took me. Like it did not take long at all. That is amazing. And then you can obviously keep it like this, but just because we are going with like the whole like beach boho theme, I think it'd be cool if you kind of just took this front section that is so tiny and just did these tiny braids in the front. And you can do a French braid for this, but I just think a normal braid would look super cute. And then I'm just clipping this one. Stop, guys, I am in love, oh my gosh. That feels weird to say about yourself, but it's not me, it's this. <laughs> wow, this is kind of amazing, geez. And actually, let me, I know, the thing is, I have, my hair's all one color, so it's so hard to like show you like texture because I don't have like, the pretty blonde. This is what you're getting, it's all brown, but it's so cute. Thank you so much to Beach Raver for working with me on this video. And if you guys want to try one out for yourself, you can go to beachraver.com, we'll have the link below. If you use the code CLANCY20, you get 20% off the entire site. So you can go through and see if there's any you like. I honestly could not recommend this one enough though. This is once again, the Floral Beach Raver S1, and it comes in two different designs, but I am seriously obsessed. It kind of stinks because I have nowhere to go today except to do random chores and errands. Kind of disappointing. <laughs> oh my goodness, so it is several hours later. I've just been doing nonstop like packing but also just extreme organizing. It's that part where it's like, what do we store? What do we throw away? And what do we bring? Just a whole mess in here. I'm tackling the bathroom today. And then I came across this thing. It's like a USB. It is so dirty, so old, and I had no idea what was on it. So I slid it into my laptop. By the way, that's just because it was at the bottom of a drawer of why it's so dirty, because that looks disgusting. And I found all of these old things. So first of all, one of them that I was shocked, I found a book that I started called Plain Jane. That's just, you know, obviously not the actual title. I was like, I really don't want to show you the actual writing because it's like embarrassing, but I was, I don't know, 40 pages in, and I think this was either at the end of college or beginning of my, I wanna say it was at the end of college, so I'll show you this. Apparently I like wrote out descriptions for like the three main characters, but yeah, I was like in the middle of this book. Oh, I don't know, I don't, I really don't wanna show much of it. Then the other crazy thing that I found was my reporting clips of when my mom and I, okay. We literally went to a random park and I made up news stories for my first ever reporter reel because 
it was such a catch-22. I need to make a reel in order to become a TV news reporter and apply for jobs, but I'd never reported before. And a lot of schools actually had like amazing journalism programs where they had reported before, but mine did not. And so I truly was a fraud in what I was doing. I did one scene on a swing, like so cringy. And then, oh my gosh, this was actually the one thing that I Go did whenever. in college was uh, I was able to like do some like anchoring. So. Go whenever. The past few months have seen a lot of- Oh my gosh, you see how I was trying to do that like news voice? I am so angry that no one told me you're not supposed to sound weird. I don't know. <sighs> I like just, that's something that really everyone should know. If you're a reporter out there, I see it, ru not ruin reporters, but it just really makes things not good. If you're trying to sound like this, and of course, whenever I'm on air, I'm gonna sound slightly different, right? Like I enunciate more and I speak a little more, you know, with authority. As soon as we get any new information here, including that man's identity, that 36 year old man, we of course will let you know. But I'm not going like, um, and if you look over here, like, and I, you know what guys, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna insert some of my reporter reel. The one that got me a job in Dayton, I don't know how. I remember on the email that the news director sent me, it said he saw potential in me, which means he didn't see the talent at that moment. Of course not with what I was doing, but potential. Warning, you are about to watch what is quite possibly the most cringeworthy thing you will ever see, and I am not responsible for any adverse side effects this may cause. Though your first reaction would be to grab the money, police advise you not to. Instead, get in your car, lock the door, and drive to a safe location. $100 is worth a lot, but it's certainly not worth your life. Good evening and welcome to the MCTV Weekly News Update. I'm Clancy Burke. And these rallying cries have not fallen on deaf ears. Just this morning, the Department of Homeland Security announced that it has suspended all action to implement the ban. The new signs are raising concerns for residents in the area and have many wondering just how dangerous this facility is. The thinking tends to go like this. If the state needs money to spend, the solution is to raise taxes. Simple, right? Well, that's not always the most viable option. The governor claims that implementing a gas tax cut will bring more people to the pump and therefore more money to spend. You know the saying, it must get worse before it gets better? It's kind of like what is um, summing up my life right now. I, I just don't even know what to say. I feel like all of this is necessary. I need to go through everything, like every last thing we own in order to organize all of it, but it's just so much like i i just don't know it's like a bomb went off in here and these are the packing cubes i've been talking about i am so in love with them like they've just been organizing everything but i ran out of cubes so gotta order more they should be coming tomorrow and i just feel like i have done so much and yet i have so much to do yes the hair has come up there was no way i was staying down for all of that and i didn't film a montage or anything of me doing everything because first of all i feel like it was impossible i was like running around the entire apartment so it was hard with the camera but also last vlog i feel like i did a lot of montages and i want to keep it fresh but i am calling it a day i'm lucky that today is monday i've got all day tuesday all day wednesday all day thursday not really all day though because i feel like this week is a week of just kind of squeezing things in like doctor's appointments and then also fun things like facial nails hair you know just the the pampering it up stuff for tonight i am done signed seal delivered <laughs> bachelor monday zach's favorite day of the week yeah zach just got wild ginger for dinner i already had my dinner but then we also got the boom chicka pop popcorn it has to be the green bag the green bag we have discovered it's like the light kettle best popcorn ever so i'm pretty sure this is the point where i have a mental breakdown because i'm just gonna be totally blunt guys everything is way more chaotic way more difficult way more just involved than i thought i mean do you see all of this it's just there are so many moving parts and honestly like i'm almost grateful for this though because we are truly doing a clean out a purge all of the other times i moved i feel like i grabbed things was like oh, i haven't used this in a while but i'm still gonna pack it up and bring it anyway and finally i'm like no like no 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 and honestly this whole thing is making me feel like i never want to buy anything ever again like the amount of just crap <laughs> like there's no other word okay i guess i could use the word garbage but 
that I had. Like, so many things where I'm like, why did I buy that? Why did I save that? Why? Like, I don't know. Why? That is the big answer. And then uh, just adding to the craze, of course, I have two more packages that came in the mail, but these are necessary. First one, more packing cubes. And guys, these have seriously been a game changer. Like, I can show you where. Okay, an example. This organizes all of, like, my shirts, for example. These are, like, my fancier shirts. I've got several more. Like, if I even just grab the camera and show you. Like, this, for example, is the packing cube of my shorts over here heavier shirts like it just keeps everything so organized i'm obsessed and honestly i think that's another reason why like my soul is so bothered right now i'm going to show you after the state of our apartment but i think one of the big reasons is because a lot of people whenever i say something like oh like my ocd like people get so offended they're like don't say ocd if you don't have it i think i really grew out of it for the most part but when i was younger guys i had ocd like in ways that are so embarrassing to admit it took me so long to realize and my best friend carly says she always noticed this it was like this unspoken thing guys this is like i admitting this on the internet i don't know if i ever have like it's really really embarrassing i used to one of my ocd tendencies it was that i had to touch everything and <laughs> this is the big one that carly said she noticed like if we were walking something internally would tell me if we were like at the mall you have to touch that this that shirt that wall that like I remember one time it got so bad, I was like, something was telling me I had to touch like the top of the ceiling. I had to stand on a chair. I'm not kidding. It's embarrassing. It's just, I don't know. I really don't know. And then the, so like, I just have to like, oh, even honestly, guys, just talking about this weird compulsion I had, like I'm feeling it again. Like I'm feeling the urge to touch this, um, this packing cube. And just for example, right there, I, you guys didn't see what I did. It varies. But for that one, something was telling me I had to touch it with two hands. Like it comes back, but like, I, I've seriously gotten over it. Like I... I don't have it at all. The other one, this is even more embarrassing. <laughs> like, I'm, I don't know if I should say this. I used to have to like smell things, Sorry, but. Could you say oh, that again? No. So I wasn't actually smelling it, but I had to like put something to my nose. Like, it just had to touch my nose. I wasn't smelling. And I think Carly noticed that one too, because it just be hung out all the time. Like, if someone handed me a paper in school, like when people were handing back papers, I would kind of just go like that. I would kind of make it seem like it was like an accident or something, but no, like something was truly telling me I had to touch something to my nose weird but anyway yeah I, I had these i feel like i had so much crap that i grew out of anxiety ocd i guess it's just those two um but yeah like oh my gosh that so weird looking back on and i feel my my ocd way so just being organized nowadays but nothing like the compulsions like the compulsions were weird let me know if you had any of those compulsions by the way because i've never met anyone who had anything like that. And once again, I always say like, no, I'm not preaching like, oh, you don't need medicine. Some people do need medicine, but I always like to add, some people don't. Like, don't ever think like, I must go on med, like, everyone is different. So you, I love how I'm like preaching with my knife. You might need medicine and that's totally fine, cool. Like, that's awesome. And then you might not. It's just, I don't know. I always like to stand up for the people who might not, because I feel like in society nowadays, it's like, almost like shameful if you don't I don't know so anyway oh my gosh okay this was not the box I was expecting I thought I was getting a windbreaker this is actually for a future sponsored video that I'm so excited about so just giving you an overview as to why my OCD is really kicking in I, like I don't understand I feel like the more I do the worse everything is like I'm waiting for things to feel less chaotic but I feel like it's just getting more chaotic. Like the living room is filling up. We can't even like walk anywhere. The kitchen, forget about it. It's like a maze trying to get a freaking glass of water in my solo cup. Do you see what I mean? And by the way, I really hope you guys don't take this as me complaining. Like you guys know me, I just like to keep it real in my vlog. So if I'm feeling stressed, if I'm feeling a little crazy, I admit it, but by no means am I like, oh, poor me, this is so awful. Like, no, I'm so excited. I just wish we could fast forward three days. But unfortunately, we can't. I guess that's a good thing because tonight, Zach and I are going out with our friends Sam and Lindsay for a final dinner. The goodbyes are starting. We're not going to just any old restaurant though. No, no, no. We are going to the Moorline Lager House, which is my favorite restaurant in Cincinnati. I'm going to miss it so much. It's just right on the water. The food is great. What's your percentages that we move back to Cincinnati versus we move to another city? 50-50. You're 50-50? I don't know, like it's just so unknown. So many unknowns. So little time. We, we watch the sun go down over the same old town. 
Like so many times before we Look at the same old stars Battle the same old wars Like so many times before And I know that we're not perfect But I'm gonna miss all that we had Sorry for this incredibly funky lighting, but today I have two appointments and they cannot be any more different. First up, we have the gynecologist. I'm uh, sitting outside. It's actually one of those doctor's offices that is like a house. I low-key love them because it feels so much less scary. I definitely do not like hospitals, doctors, anything like that. And then the other one is a facial. So I get like a little reward after the gyno, which the thing is though, I've always said I would much rather a pap smear than a COVID test. Like seriously, that is how much I hate COVID tests. And then I look like a freak. I am driving around with so many garbage bags, but I'm gonna be taking these to Goodwill after. Got the feeling in your arms and knees. The kind of feeling where you simply freeze. Don't you worry, let me throw you up. Cause I think I know where you are. Has been an interesting one. I got the call that Neil was in the emergency room for three hours this morning because he has awful chest pain and this has been going on for like months but he's kind of been ignoring it. Finally I guess it got bad enough this morning that he went in. Drum roll please! Nothing came back and it's the same thing that's happening with Zach. Like Zach's having awful stomach pain, Neil's having awful chest pain and like they just can't get to the bottom of it. With Neil though I know they only did like an x-ray and a CT scan would show a lot more of his chest. But yeah, I mean, I don't know what is up with all of these mystery illnesses. And I don't mean to complain, like I'm not the one, you know, who is the patient, but it obviously sucks when all these humans in your life who you care about are sick and there are just no answers. And I don't know what's going on. They don't know what's going on. The doctor doesn't know what's going on. So yeah, I've just been packing up, trying to organize things. And then, oh my gosh, my newest obsession. I just discovered this. It is Back to the beach. Do you guys remember the show Laguna Beach? This is Kristen Cavallari and Steven, I don't even know his last name, whatever. He was Steven on the show who everyone loves, Elsie and Kristen. And this show is so freaking good. They basically just like reminisce and go through each and every episode of Laguna Beach and talk about what really happened because obviously that show is so edited, so fake. And I remember watching it and being like, oh my gosh, is this what high school is going to be like? And then I ended up going to an all girls high school and, um, it was not like that to say the least. I forgot to show you guys what I ended up getting from Target. So first of all, this is the best body wash ever. I just love Method Body. All of their scents are good. And this one's especially good. It is Magnolia. And then what I'm super excited about, and this is the whole reason I went to Target, these three cute t-shirt dresses, Lindsay was telling me about it. I am obsessed and I tried one on. This one, I loved the pattern, but they didn't have the size I wanted. What I'm trying on is an extra small. The rack said it was small, so I didn't know I was trying on an extra small. It fit a little too snug for my liking. Like, did it fit? Yes, but I wanna wear these around the house, super comfy, super loungy. So I got a small and they do run big. Uh, they definitely run big, but I just got black cream and peach and I'm gonna pack these right now these are just like exactly what I've been looking for because I hate wearing pants <laughs> okay I actually wanted to show you guys how I'm fitting everything into my packing cubes because I actually just refolded all of this I originally rolled them wrong but for this trip I'm doing rolling instead of folding just want to pop in here to say I promise I know what the word folding is not sure why I chose not to use it. It's kind of life-changing. I'm obsessed and basically, I mean, it speaks for itself. You put them all in and this is how everything fits. I mean, this is like what? I don't know, 10 dresses? And voila! I'm seriously just like such an organization nerd and this makes me so happy. I just got back from my facial and I decided to film this clip in the exact spot where I was standing before to see do we notice any differences? Probably not. I don't think it's like an immediate like, oh my gosh, your skin looks different. It's more just like the texture of my skin ever since I started getting facials is like a baby's bottom. I'm not kidding. Like it is so 
immaculate. It's a game changer. So I could not recommend it anymore. Massage Envy is where I go. I'm obsessed. Also, I had a funny incident at Massage Envy where, I don't know if you guys remember, I gave Carly a Massage Envy gift card for Christmas because I loved their facials. She could obviously also get a massage, but I love their facials. She went to go finally get it a couple of weeks ago. They said there was zero dollars on it, and then I spent the money myself. They're like, oh, the person who gave it to you must have spent it. No! I was like, obviously I didn't, like, use my friend's gift card. Like, that'd be so weird. And I did so much research, got to the bottom of it. Like, they said it had been spent after it was even in Carly's hands. So it makes no sense. I think they just forgot to put a balance on it. But it was all sorted out. Uh, it was just this really funny thing because I was like, honestly, of all the bad things I've done in this world, like I promise I didn't gift someone a gift card with zero dollars on it. Or even like, then go ahead and spend it first, like no. Very sad update. These red garnet sweet potatoes, I forget what they're called. All I know is they slipped into the Japanese sweet potato section. I didn't realize, just cut this open thinking I was about to eat a Japanese sweet potato, which it has like a white, skin or whatever it's called like the inside is white this is very upsetting but it's gonna have to do i don't like these these aren't normal sweet potatoes it's like called red something and i finally cleared out our ooh, let's get this let's get some light on this i finally cleared out our pantry so satisfying and then these are foods that we are either currently eating or we're even going to take on the road with us not these these aren't going on the road these are going to be gone by tonight crunch master multi-seed so good i know how it feels being stood up there i've been there yeah. It, honestly, like, I've been waiting pretty much five weeks to, to find some so Good morning, guys! Precisely one day until we have to move all of this stuff out of this apartment. There is so much that needs to get done today. Today is definitely going to be like the get stuff done, high stress day. But first, I have a nail appointment and I am so excited about it because you guys know I don't get my nails done too often like last time i got them done was a couple of months ago and that just makes it that much more exciting when i do get them done you know what i mean like it's not just like a, oh gotta get the nails done every two weeks it's it's like it, it builds it up and i don't know what color i'm gonna get it's the little things in life it really is today i actually didn't go to the gym and i slept in i think i slept in until like 8 15 which just like kind of throws my day off. It just feels so weird. Like it's right now 1119 and it feels like I just woke up. Not really, obviously, but it just feels so weird. But I needed that rest day. Not only A, did I need the rest, like I think I slept 10 hours last night, but also my body needed the rest. My back's been hurting a little bit. So that felt good. And then, all right, guys, let's see. Zach is right now at Sleepy Bee Cafe picking up his lunch. And I left him a little note. You can see it says, show the vlog your meal. They want to see. And all of the purple, by the way, is permanent. Like, I don't know why, but it will not come off. Oh my gosh, I think this was like my last day that Zach wrote, make local 12. They lost. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what he said. But anyway, I'm going to put this here because he always eats his food here. I'm going to put the camera and let's see if he actually gives us some content. I'm just walking to the nail salon because it's seriously like right there i never could show you guys this obviously just for safety reasons but the nail salon's like right across the street from us which is awesome but it's so funny because yesterday i uploaded my video on wednesday and whenever i upload my videos i almost like forget what i even talk about in them and all of a sudden i just start seeing comment after comment that says love your videos but this is what i don't like about them or this is what you need to improve i don't like that you do this and i was so confused i was like why is everyone hating me today and then i went back that was a video where i asked you guys for some constructive criticism which i was so grateful for that helped me so much but it just would have been so weird if I hadn't asked that and a million people are just telling me why they don't like my videos. I was like, what? But no, that was so helpful. One of the big things is that my music is a lot louder than me talking. So those clips are just different audio levels and that's so helpful. Like I didn't notice that, especially I don't edit with my earphones in a lot. So I feel like it's very noticeable if you have earphones in. So that's so helpful. That's something I'm gonna, you know, keep in mind. And I just, I always welcome constructive criticism. When people just comment like, I hate you, you're stupid. Like, what, what do you want me to do with that? Like, <laughs> I can't change, okay? But the constructive criticism, I'm just going through all those comments and I'm actually making a list on my phone of just different things. And it also, I also ask you guys to say like, what parts do you like or do you want me to do? And so, yeah, I'm just keeping all that in mind. But it just was so jarring to, wake up and see all those comments look who i ran into how are you doing you got your goods i got my goods all right well guess what i left you a little note you'll know what to do okay 
This is probably gonna be a familiar meal that I got their chicken sandwich. It's like pulled chicken, like aioli, lettuce, different stuff on it, and sweet potatoes. And then I got a side piece, a side piece of the getta, which is a big Cincinnati thing. You don't find getta that many other places. I know Clancy always says don't vlog with the, your back to um, the window, but that's my lunch. It's Thursday. We we'll move stuff Friday at one. We'll head up to my parents for a little bit. Friday night and then we uh, hit the road. So it's gonna be adventure time. I love the way my nails came out. In case you couldn't tell, I decided to just match my shirt. And I was so happy because the people at the nail salon were so kind and I talked about this on my Instagram story a bit, but I've been dealing with so many customer service reps with the move and so many people have just been so like mean and I know this sounds so stupid. I wasn't even going to mention it on my story, but so many people responded to me saying they agree. So many people have just been so rude to me and I promise you guys, I... I just am kind like I just am like it's not even like oh I'm just so nice but like truly like I just treat people how I want to be treated I have watched youtubers vlogs I will never understand it's these few people that I have in my mind they show themselves ordering coffee at like Dunkin or Starbucks or wherever they go they sound like they have a gun to their head or like the, uh, this is seriously how they order can I get a large coffee I, okay I literally don't even like know coffee order so that was stupid but I'm like what are you doing like just be kind to people. I don't know. I never understand. But these people have just been so mean to me for no reason. Like the other day I was talking to a UPS customer service rep. This is me doing like a phone thing. And he was just so rude. And honestly, it got to the point where I asked him like one of my last questions was like, okay, like how much is this service? And I promise you guys, I was nice. Like there was no reason for him to be like this. What he was doing is he was mumbling hardcore. Like I don't know what his deal was or why he was doing it, but he just wouldn't speak clearly. And so I said, I'm sorry, what? After he goes, I don't know. Like literally that was his answer. And he goes very clearly, he can speak clearly. He just didn't want to. I said $5, did you not hear? And I kind of regret it, but I was mean. I said, my exact quote, well, you didn't say it very clearly. Have a great day. And I hung up and like, then I felt like crap. I'm like, why am I fighting with people and being mean? But anyway. These people at the nail salon, just them being kind, like meant the world because I have not been experiencing that lately. And yeah, I kind of just wanted to sit down here, not holding my vlog camera. That was one of the pieces of feedback a lot of you guys gave me in that last video that the shaky parts when I'm holding it on specifically my bed make a lot of you nauseous. These are things that I would never know. That's why I'm so happy you guys are giving me this feedback. And don't think that it just has to be on that video. Like anytime you have constructive criticism, give it to me. I mean, and there are some pieces of constructive criticism that, you know, like I, I take, like I'm like, okay, but I'm maybe not going to go with, for example, a lot of people say they don't like the, um, like the previews before my videos, but then 50, so it's probably 50% said they don't like it. 50% said we love this. And I personally love making them and I like watching them. So I'm going to keep them. If a hundred percent of people were saying we don't want this different story, but when it's like 50, 50, I'm just gonna go with what I want. Yeah, I just, I can't believe we move tomorrow. It's kind of like a false move though. Like we move everything out tomorrow and then we are gonna be driving up to Dayton to see Zach's family and we're gonna be staying with them overnight because if we move all of our stuff out today, we simply don't have a bed to sleep on or anything like that. But it'll be really nice to see Zach's family before we move and oh, I just can't believe like my time in Ohio has come to an end. We might be back, we don't know what we're doing, we have no idea. And that's, you know, the the genesis of this whole moving thing of when I first thought of it, we weren't sure if we wanted to stay in Cincinnati, we weren't sure if we wanted to explore a new city, so why not do these like monthly Airbnbs and see? Actually, wow, that's funny, I guess you guys only know the first city we're going to, but the others, we would have interest in moving to permanently. We don't know, we don't know, it's just, it's crazy. Like I came to Ohio a little over five years ago not knowing a soul and then it was funny i was thinking about this the other day little did i know that on my very first day at my job i'd be meeting my future mother-in-law because I, I met zach's mom she was like one of the first people i met actually i'll never i seriously i don't even remember meeting my boss necessarily like i don't remember the exact moment but i remember the exact moment i met zach's mom it was right outside her office and yeah it's just crazy it's like so weird but 
oh, I'm, I'm just, I'm excited. And this next chapter, it's not like, I just keep telling people, I'm like, cause people are like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Like I'm jealous, da da da. And I'm like, trust me, it's like just not all sunshines and rainbows. Like I just, I don't know why I feel like it's so important for me to remind people that. I just don't want people to think I'm like living this like, oh my God, like amazing life because there have been so many just things that have come with this move that have just been like a really big headache. Um, more, more, more than I'm even explaining, if that makes sense. I know I'm being sketchy right now, but there are certain things that I'm not even gonna mention, but I'm very excited. And it's just like, I can't believe I went from being a full-time news reporter, waking up at 2 a.m. every single day, living in the same city I've been here for three years, to all of a sudden, I don't have a full-time job, like a, you know, a rigid schedule, full-time job. Obviously I do YouTube, but it's not the same. I have a flexible schedule. I'm gonna be moving all around the country, like what? But it's just proof like anyone can do this. Anyone can, you can change your life in a second, you know? And, and it might not be in the same exact way as this, but you can change your job. You can move to a new city. Don't know anyone in that city? That's fine. I didn't know anyone when I moved to Ohio. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to, and that's what I always told myself because I feel bad about leaving New York and saying I'm never gonna return, but like, what, I'm just gonna have to live in New York forever because my my parents live there? Like, and I know that sounds awful, but I talk to my mom every single day. Like, I we talk on the phone every single day, so it's not like, if, if anything, I feel like I'm closer to my family than most people, but I just don't wanna live there. I just simply don't, and that's okay because in today's day and age, we have FaceTime, we have cell phones. When my dad moved from Ireland to America, I mean, he like never got to talk to his family because he also, I mean, I don't want to like blow up his spot, but I don't think he was really rolling in the dough, just, you know, an immigrant coming in and trying to start from new. So like, I don't necessarily think he, it cost a lot of money back in the day to call international. So he couldn't necessarily call that much. Not that, not that my family even would want to. My like Irish side of the family is very like unemotional. I didn't like, I feel like to an extent I got that gene, but to the other extent, a customer service rep can be mean to me and I will hysterically cry. Not really, but I'm very sensitive with that type of thing with just like people being mean. I don't know. I'm fragile. Okay. Well, things have taken a turn and this appears like it's going to be the first turn of many throughout our travel adventure. Zach, do you have anything to say about what just happened? If this is anything to come on your organization skills and uh, research on places we're in some deep doo-doo basically i got a place where i could store my car paid the money like you know like the first month got the email saying all's good we show up i'm gonna insert some pictures here this is where they wanted me to park my car in like the middle of just like it wasn't a spot it was not a spot like it made no sense we just had a very fun experience getting eaten alive by bugs because it was in the middle of nowhere. It's about 35 minutes away. So we drove all the way for nothing because we said, um, no, thank you. This is not a spot. Like the guy on the phone trying to explain it because, oh, no one was there. The guy on the phone was explaining it to us. It just was not a good situation. So we ended up parking my car at our friend's house. They were so nice. It's been quite the day. We got some fusion. That's a nice little treat. And tomorrow is officially our move-in day. Tune in next vlog. That's when that's when we move to Nashville. I'm going to be making that the next vlog. So it's very exciting, even though we've had some hiccups. But it's fine, right, Zach? Nothing I can't solve. <laughs> Zach coming in clutch. This is why you should have organized it from the first place. You should have left it up to me. Quickly realizing that. Okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> be sure to subscribe for more, <laughs> more adventures. Yeah, more to come. More fun. Up thumb. Bye.